Hello and welcome back to Chicken Block. It's been a fun time so far. Uh, and today, we're going to have actual progress, I think. <laughs> I, th I think we are, yeah. We were yeah. supposed to do loads of stuff last episode, and instead of that, I basically just died lots, built a really rubbish cobble thing, and, um, well, we made a start on, on this as Absolutely, well, this yeah. Big chicken thing. But we were supposed to get all of this done last episode and have our storage set up and all of that thing, but... Yeah. Well, we didn't. Things didn't we? happen. But we have plenty of progress to show you now. And, uh, we do. Yes. I mean, it should be about an hour or two hours or so to uh, just do that and get it all done and completed and polished up. And then you have a plan for the centralized storage, right? I do. I do. I do. So basically, between episodes, as you can see, we have built up all of the coops. In fact, if we take a quick run up there now, you can see our, our chicken run, I guess it's called. Hopefully, they're not going to escape. But basically, <laughs> we have... Oh, no, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That was, that was terrible. But we have all 48 coops lined up here. They're all ready. We just... I think... Are the hoppers in below these ones? I assume they are if there's a block yes, there now. Yes, they are. So we need to get a little bit more carpet up there, which is um, going to be fine for them to stand on. I've done like half of them, I think. So this is where they're all going to be, and this bit's all built up, which is nice. We've got a nice holding pen around the back, so that when we move them up here, it should be a bit easier. Um, but what what we haven't done is actually the storage side of it, right? So we've got all this done in between, and for the storage, I have a color palette I wish to use, which is in this box, right? It's in this box. But for that, I needed acacia. And I did discover that if you kill log chickens, they drop saplings. Not just oak saplings, it's it's kind of random. So I bred up loads of log chickens and I killed them all and managed to get all the saplings we were missing, which was the dark oak ones over there and the acacia. And not only that, I bred up loads and loads and loads and loads of skeleton chickens and um, then went on a murderous rampage afterwards, admittedly. But in this chest here, I have many, many bone blocks, many acacia logs. I've got a bit of jungle wood and lots and lots of hoppers as well. So, yeah. Uh, this is what I'm going to be building the storage thing out of. So in between episodes, I've basically just been harvesting resources. Like, all the resources. Well, you know, that's a good plan, because we're going to get it knocked out. I know it. Yeah, yeah. The thing is, that's that's the mistake we made last time. We were, we were unprepared. We spent most of the episode actually harvesting resources and trying not to die. This time, we should be good to crack on. Oh, yeah, so, absolutely. Absolutely. We can yeah. get knocked out, I'm sure. Yeah, I reckon, I reckon. So, other than that, I don't think much else has changed. I mean, we did manage to get some more animals, which is obviously, you know, the purpose of the end of last episode. I was I was trying to get some animals. And we now have sheep, we have pigs, we have cows, and, um, well, that's, that's that's basically it. But we need to build pens for these at some point. But I'm, I'm telling you, it's not really a priority. We only really need the sheep for wool and a few cows for food, so we should be all right. Right, and I'm excited to uh, get these chests, you know, not have to go through these chests every time we need something. Yeah, bit of a mess, really, aren't they? <laughs> yeah, but we're going to get that cleaned up today. Yes, yes, we are. Right, I'm going to maybe make a start on the storage. I'm thinking, I'm thinking out here. What do you reckon? I'm thinking that is a great idea. Well, there's a big gap. It's quite close to the coops. And, well, th this delivery system, Casey, did, do you want to walk us through it? It's, it's basically we're going to use water transportation, right? Absolutely, yeah, so... Oh, yep, go ahead. Yeah, uh, just having a look. So, yeah, you know, it's super simple. Um, as complicated as it may look, basically, uh, the items go into the hopper, or the dropper, sorry, hopper, droppers, whatever, redstone bits. Uh, <laughs> the, they go into the dropper, and then, you know, it detects when there are things, and it pulls into a uh, observer hopper clock, and it just deposits items. And then, uh, of course, all we need to do from there is put it to a centralized water stream and ship them on over to the storage system okay cool so i guess they'll be coming kind of this way and then i'll build storage over there so with this kind of system we are on bedrock right and right. the filters are unreliable at best right? <laughs> right so so what i'm thinking with the storage is i'm gonna make it in a square and if we have like a ring of water so everything comes down and goes into this ring of water then stuff can just go round and round and round and round until it gets picked up by the hoppers is my thinking right yeah because that, that way it has more than one chance to actually get picked up and we don't end up with well basically that mess all over again but in a different place right no that's perfect and if we can have um just a chest that's not filtered for anything well that'll break it yeah let's just do your plan everything's sorted and just a loop 
That's all. Good. Yeah, exactly, exactly. And the other the other side to that would of course be that ooh, trader. Sorry, oh. <laughs> distractions. Distractions. He just popped into existence. That's fine. Traders are important. As we They know. are. Um so we need enderpearls, I think. I believe we have enough end frame pieces now. I bought a couple while you were offline, so like the last two that we needed. Right. So I think I think we just need enderpearls on that regard. Obviously we still need blaze powder and all that stuff, but yeah, that's that's probably going to be next episode for Never Fun Times, I, I reckon. So, yeah. I don't think we're going to get there today. So, for now, we'll just kill him and steal his chickens in a bit, I think. But, uh, yeah, I reckon if I go down a few blocks from that platform over there and then build a big platform, build storage over here, in the meantime, if you do all this bit up here, then when we come back, hopefully we'll be ready to kind of connect the two and... Oh, I've just realized it's not as simple as that. I've got to do the all the filters. There's going to be... Oh, we're going to need so much redstone. <laughs> We've got all the redstone. Okay, uh, cool. That's that's a good thing. Right. Should we crack on? I think so. Let's, let's get started. Oh, completely missed that ladder. Poor effort. Well, we're making some good progress over here, aren't we, Casey? We've, oh, um, we are. Tons of work. Yeah, yeah, ton tons of tons of work. We've we've run into a bit of a barrier though, in that we're a little bit low on redstone. Yep. Um, uh, we're waiting yeah. on uh, a bunch. You see that big ugly spruce thing there? There's a bunch of chickens, and I mean a bunch of chickens growing up there. So very soon. Oh, we'll have that a lot over of the back there. <laughs> mm, right. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm I'm very much looking forward to to many redstones because if we go down here and have a look, look, if we peek in through the window, you can see all the sorting and things and some bits that we have managed to redstone. So we've made a start, but we've got no redstone dust for these. Uh, well, you know the classic sort of impulse sorters, right? Essentially, but. This room on the inside, it's uh, a little bit bland on the walls at the moment. I, I will be improving that. But the actual storage and sorting side of it is done. So we have 48 barrels in the floor with a backup barrel just above it as well, behind the trapdoors. So basically a double chest for every single chicken item that we're going to have coming down from there. And I didn't know what to put at the end. So look, welcome to the wall of barrels. So this will just be for storage of other stuff that doesn't come from chicken's bums. Um... That's my thinking. Yeah, I think that's good. We're going to need a uh, odd storage for things that we can't really sort. Yes, yes, we are. We're also going to need lots of leather. It's just occurred to me. Abs Actually, we have a lot. <laughs> we have a oh, do ton. We? Yeah, over there in the chicken breeder, those just odd chests. There's probably three stacks, I think. Ah, amazing. Yeah, that'll be more than enough. So I can get lots and lots of signs up in here. I'm going to get some foliage going on as well. I'm going to keep it with an open roof because I think it just looks nice. Oh, yeah, definitely. Um, But yeah, I, I think we might even be able to put some platforms on top of where the sorters are because there's kind of space around the back. So if we have a look up here, look. So what I'm thinking is up the top here, we're going to have essentially on top of this block here, from there, we, 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 we could probably put in a floor if we wanted to. And I have no idea how we're going to disguise all this stuff yet. I mean, I'll probably do that at some point in between episodes. Just try and hidey-hide a bit of it. But we could potentially put in a couple of floors, balconies. We've got, we've got all sorts of space. I have no idea what we'd need it for. But the opportunity is there if we need it. Right. I would say the purpose is to make this look nice and remove all that ugly stuff that we had before um, Before we had yeah. all this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm, look, I'm looking forward to getting rid of all the all the ugly, nasty, nasty things. I mean, this world is not about making pretty things. I mean, I know that's what I, I'm, my normal focus, but right. that's not what this world is about. This world is about collecting all the chickens and killing the dragon, right? It is. So we may have spent a bit too long on this storage system for the length of time we're going to get out of it, but we've started, so we'll finish. Darn it. So, um, water streams, do you want to... Tell me, tell right, me your, your right. water stream plan. So the uh, this is possibly the ugliest part of this entire world, maybe. Um, <laughs> but it, it's super simple. I mean, we just... I, I think I explained in the last episode how this storage system works. It's just a auto-detecting uh, dropper system, we'll call it that, yep. to make it sound smart. 
Uh, but yeah, I've just got it sorted into water systems. And one challenge that we thought we might have is we don't currently have uh, soul sand. So we can't make bubble vaders. Um, no. so, but I, I think we've got just enough room. And I mean just enough room. We've got a couple of blocks. I think we can feed everything into uh, this loop here uh, without using soul sand. That's the key part. Um, yeah, and we've yeah. got plenty of ice just to make a loop. So yeah, it'll be on a loop. So in case anything doesn't get picked up the first time, it'll come right back around and uh, be picked up that time. That's the hope. And if it doesn't get picked up that time, then it'll go round again and so on and so yep, on until it despawns. Yeah, exactly. Or or <laughs> or actually, the hoppers do their job and and pick up the thing right that we that we right. want. Um, I do, however, I, I don't know if you've noticed or not, but something I do need to do is um, we either need to lower the water stream, or we need to raise all this stuff. Uh, why is that? Well, because currently the water stream, everything's just going to go straight down the hoppers. None of the hoppers are locked at the top here. Uh, you're so right about that. I am genius. Um, so well, we haven't gotten we, very far on the sorting system. I say just raise it up. It's true, we haven't. All we've done is put in oh, a random slab. Uh, all we've done is put in the spruce, basically, and a few of the repeaters. So we could raise it up. I mean, because the problem is, if we go lower, then the water stream is going to be going right across the front of that door when right. it loops. So, right. yeah. So we were very happy about how much we'd done, and I think we're going to have to change it. Uh, well, hey, I like to look at the positives of the situation. We're already waiting on redstone chicken, so... Oh, gives Does us something work? to do while we're waiting for redstone oh, chickens. Right. Amazing. Right. Cool. Yeah, because making, like, a stack of frames isn't going to take that long. That's no. basically my other job. Okay. I need to get some leaves. As well. I don't think we've got any leaves. Can't make stuff look nice without leaves. Ah, the dangly bits, right. Exactly. Uh, so yeah, let's 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 crack on, and I guess we'll meet everyone back here once. Hopefully, we'll have the the old spinny doodad storagey circuity flow water system thing going, right? Right. I, I'm sure there's a more technical name for it than that. But yeah, uh, oh, that guy, that guy really just wants to say hello, doesn't he? Yes, he does. Hmm. Hello. Good I'll let sir. you deal with that. Oh. Ah. Uh, the void has claimed another. Would you look at that, Casey? It's raining again. I swear that is all we ever get on this map. <laughs> Let's see, we get a lot, don't we? It's It rains at least once a day, and a day on this map is, what, 10 minutes? Ah, uh, yeah, something like that. I reckon it's because it's a Dan Rob's Probs map, and they're renowned for always raining. So, yeah, <laughs> I'm blaming Dan. I'm blaming him. <laughs> DRP, this is your fault. Uh, Dan the rain, man. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Anyway, we're not here to talk about the weather, as no. British as that is, and as British as I am. However, we are going to talk about water. Mm. Tasty water. Uh, as if we don't have enough. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but uh, I, I've completed the water stream. Well, we say completed. It's not... We don't yet have a working loop, and we'll explain that in just a second. Uh, but uh, I have done the uh, little bit of a headache of a task to connect up both of these collection systems. Um, and I can, I can throw something in there, and by the time I get talking about it, it will be at the end. Um, which isn't saying much, but, uh, it's a little, it's a little bit on the slow side, but it works. Yeah, it, it reaches everything. The um, important thing is, yeah. it, it does what it's supposed to, <laughs> and it gets where it's supposed to go. When we've right. got more ice, when we've right. got more ice, we can put more ice down. But... Right. When you're playing chicken block, it's not about complete efficiency, it's about, um, it working. How can we possibly get this to work with these minimal resources? Yeah. <laughs> right, right. So... Uh, yeah, so what our bottleneck here is, is redstone. We You see we have a line of comparators, but that is currently probably all the redstone we owned. Uh, but we, we have yeah. a fix for that. We're waiting on we're waiting on chickens over there to produce a lot. Uh, a lot but, of chickens. <laughs> right, a lot of chickens. But when we do that, uh, we'll just it's it's a matter of placing the comparators, repeaters, and dust, and then and then we'll have this project done. So I mean, you guys don't want to see us place a million redstone no, stuff. No, so. no, no. Well, <laughs> not only that, we're going to have to AFK for it and stuff first right, as well. So, right, so, yeah, they don't want to see that either. Yeah. But the way it's going to work is we're going to put a bucket of water here and then everything is going to go whoosh and go that way. And then it's going to follow the trail all the way around. And then it's going to go around the back here once all this is done. And then once we've got more ice and bits and bobs and redstone, it will carry on all the way around and do the loop-de-loop. -loop, and it will just keep going around until it either gets picked up or despawns. Right, yeah. So... Uh, um, hopefully, hopefully it will get picked up though, right? Yeah, I mean, 
you know about Dr. Janko Meyer. There's usually a headache that happens, but yeah, yeah. Mm. I've done. Yeah, this my... has gone a little bit too smoothly for a <laughs> Janko Meyer project, so I'm a little I'm... bit concerned. Right, right. I'm, t I'm, I'm annoyed with this weather, but it is actually night now. I think. Should we quickly go to bed and then we'll come talk uh, about the uh, I think so. Storage. Let's, let's go run. There we go. It's a new day, so we've probably got about three minutes without rain. So, uh, yeah, the, the main storage bit. Look, we actually I did a building thing. It's still a bit bland out the front right. here. Maybe it needs some, like, tables and chairs and flower pots and stuff. I yeah. don't really know. But I wanted to build something that actually looked nice. I was fed up of looking at cobblestone and wood and stuff. <laughs> so, yeah, more right. wood over here. But different color wood, right? Yeah. And bone. Lots of bone. But it's, it's basically, it's fairly open, fairly airy and stuff, because, you know, resources. But I, th I think it I think it works. I think it, I think it looks good. We've got 48 chests all along here, which is kind of what you saw on the last clip. But I've got all the frames up now. We've got some lights. It should all be nicey-nicey. And this is lower half slab as well, so definitely no spawning down here. And definitely no spawning on the barrels because of these flappy trapdoors. So in theory, we should be spawn-proof. Right. In theory. <laughs> in theory, that's the key word right there. Well, I'm I'm a builder. There's probably a dark patch somewhere where like death is waiting for us. But until then, I think we're going to be all right. But I think for the most part, this is done now. We just need to obviously get the boxes labeled. We can actually move our storage from out there in here now as well. Um, but yeah, I think I think it's just a case of once it's all working, we'll start dropping stuff in, and this should work just fine and dandy for us. Right. Uh, the only challenge is, and it's a big challenge. Um... Yes. Don't 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 bring it up. I'm gonna have to. <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> is up here. We've got to take on the. I mean, daunting is is not putting it uh, correctly. No. Uh, I mean, the incredible task of putting all the chickens in their respective coops. Yeah. This this yeah. this is not gonna be an easy thing. <laughs> As I say, I think I've got a plan though, and that is to basically I'm gonna build a little little stairway up the back here so I can get onto the roof, and I'm just gonna take out a chunk of the roof and just push them in. Because yep. I think that's gonna be a lot easier than trying to push them in the gates at the front. All right. Yeah. Um. And while I'm doing that, I'm gonna breed one of each pair as they come up and stick them in that pen behind. Yeah. And then that's where we're gonna experiment on them. Right. Um, and I, that, I might also mm. add. Um. You guys may have noticed that uh, as we work with chickens more and more, we're getting increasingly increasingly less patient each time, but I can assure you, no chickens are harmed. Uh, yeah, yeah, no chickens are harmed. <laughs> yeah, we'll say that. Anyway, so, I mean, sadly, I think that's probably pretty much all we've got time for today, but we did actually do what we said we were going to do last episode, which was to get the storage done at least as much as we can. Right, we got we got to a place where we can finish it quickly, and it's not really important to see on camera. Exactly, yeah, we just need to actually do the farms for the storage, which is, and, yeah, the chickens. Oh, it's the chickens, isn't it? <laughs> oh, oh, it's always life. the chickens. It's always the chickens. Right, so I think... I think what we should do now is, I mean, I'm just going to grab some leads, I think, and, and just, I'm going to start moving chickens, and I guess I'll see you next episode, Casey. All right, I, I'm going to oh, start. Oh, I just hit you with an arrow. Oh. I'm sorry. Oh, that... I'm sorry. You can you can have an arrow. I'm, I didn't mean to hit you. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't mean to hit you. Fine, then. Right. I'll just go work on my redstone. Yep, sorry about that. Right, I'll see you next episode, <laughs> Casey, when, and hopefully we'll have some chickens up there. Right. That's the hope, anyway. Right, see you, Mr. P. Anyway, it's been fun. Have fun with your water. Bye-bye now. <laughs>